Hello everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. We're uh, playing with food again, but it's uh, once again in seed form. In my foray into this whole thing, whatever you would call it, the uh, Wi-Fi seed test with the different minerals and crystals to block the radiation, make the seed grow better. I ran across some interesting videos about magnetism relating to seed germination. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the test as pretty much the same setup as before, except I'm going to have some magnets under the uh, underneath the seed. I'm going to have one north facing, one south facing, and a control. These are the magnets. They're uh, rare earth magnets, super strong. So you have them labeled north and south. And I can just show you guys to, to prove that. So here is, it is, yes, it's kind of a small crappy compass. It's on a fire steel, but you see north, the red arrow is pointing towards the bottom of your screen. And I'm gonna take the south face of the magnet and put it over here. See south. And you see it's attracting the north pole of the compass. Alright, so let's start. Now one cup. This will be the north cup. Take the magnet and its north side. Place that in the bottom. And I made these little cardboard spacers. I was, I don't know if it really matters. I, I wanted to elevate the seeds above the magnet a little bit rather than just kind of having them flop around because I, I don't just want to test the magnetism effect. I want to test the effect of north versus south. So I want it, it definitely above the magnet. So just a little cardboard spacer I cut out, drop it in there, that'll keep it just just barely above. Once again, we're using bean seeds. This is open, but this is the same packet of seeds from my previous experiment that I opened just you know a week or two ago. Once again, I'm gonna do five seeds. I'll take a towel, paper towel, soak it in water. Deposit our five seeds on there. Fold it over. Drop it on top. Now we're, I'm going to repeat this with the south pole and the control. So I put the three cups in a location where they won't be uh, experimented upon by the kitty or the doggy. And they're far enough apart that I don't think the magnetism from one will affect the other. They're all in the same general location, so they'll have the same amount of heat and everything like that. And I'll check them every other day or so. I'll try to be a little bit more uh, on time with my checks, unlike the Wi-Fi seed test, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're at day four here. I just I've been checking them every day and keeping them watered and I see some sprouts today. So let's start with, here's the control. And here you can see there's three sprouted. That one's not sprouted. That one's just barely starting. So the controls at three and a half sprouts, I'll call it. Next is the North Pole. And it looks like, oh, Alice found her squeaky toy again. 
and yeah, only one, only one sprout in the north. Lastly, we got the south. One, two, three, four. That one's just sort of kind of popping out, but I'll say that's four sprouts. So it's interesting, that's the uh, lineup so far. We got four sprouts, three or three and a half in the control, and. No. Alice, I'm making, I'm making a video. And then just the one in the north. So that's interesting. We'll uh, continue to put some water in here and monitor them as they go. Okay, next day. This is day five. Let's start with the south. These were already sprouted yesterday. But now I can just take a visual look at how much the sprouts have uh, grown. I think that one's definitely gotten longer. I don't quite remember from yesterday. So again, 5 out of 5 on the south pole. Now for north. see tiny sprout tiny sprout and then two small sprouts so we got two two decent ones two baby ones last one nothing lastly the control Lost the bean down there. Let's see, there's the first one, nothing. So we got nothing. Hardly a sprout. Kind of sort of a sprout. Yeah, actually that's a pretty that's a pretty decent one. That's an okay one. So we got two decent ones. Two babies and uh, nothing, which I believe is the same as the north. Although North Pole, these sprouts, these two that actually have sprouted, are definitely smaller than than these. And again, the south exposure is excellent. So this is uh, going pretty interesting. Definitely, definitely a noticeable difference. Sorry for the background noise. We got the, the heat on and the clothes dryer running. But there is a couple of videos out there of a guy. I forget his name, but he's done some very interesting in-depth videos sprouting alfalfa seeds, and the differences are quite noticeable. And once again, for him, the South Pole was way better than the north. Oh, that says quartz on it. That was from my uh, seed experiment with uh, Wi-Fi radiation. Anyway, again this is day five. I'll just let this keep going. And I think the next test I'm gonna do is, like that other guy on YouTube, I'm just gonna expose the seeds to a pole of a magnet for maybe a day and then try sprouting it because uh, that's that'd be, that's pretty neat if I could you know when I plant my garden if I could just stick a strong magnet under my packets of seeds for a day and then plant them in the garden they likely will do better or at least sprout earlier 
And that is an interesting point. Just because they sprout earlier doesn't necessarily mean they'll grow healthier. Uh, that would be a, another experiment or an extension of this experiment. All right, so here we are on day seven. Let's take a look. Start off with the south. Now the south was already doing great. Oh man, look at those. The sprouts have sprouted. I think they've all sprouted. Let's see, one, two, three, that one sprouted. And by sprouted, I mean, you know, the sprouts are growing little legs. Yeah, all of them. All of those in the south have done very well. Let's, uh, I'm going to do north next. Alright, let's see. Some of these are sp starting to get little legs as well. See, that one's just a sprout. That's sort of, kind of something. That's got some legs. I guess, uh, man, I don't know. I guess these are turning into roots. I don't really know what a seed does underground. And that's just a regular single sprout. So again, these have all sprouted, but only two of the beans have really gotten some some extra growth on there. Lastly, the control. All right, oh man, we got some action on this one. Look at that. Wow, that one is quite impressive. So these two have definitely grown their their legs. And this one is just the sprout. That one, oops, I broke it off. That's just the sprout. And that one, it's hardly even popped out. So two really good ones, two medium ones, and one bad one. North, we got two good ones and two or three okay ones. In the south, all five are excellent. So I think that's that. That'll about cover. I'm going to stop the experiment here. It's pretty clear. I think the next step to do, to do if I wanted to, would be to put these in dirt or grow them in dirt right off the bat and compare them. But it being winter, I don't know how well something like this would really grow and produce indoors even with a grow light or something. Being outside really, really does help. In, in my experience, it does help seeds grow with the wind and, and all that. It, it strengthens them up. So there you have it everybody, south pole exposure definitely is the way to go. So if you live in Antarctica, that is the place to grow green beans. I think I will do another experiment with just exposing them and then growing them. And if that works, when I grow my vegetable garden, I'm just going to expose all my seeds to a south pole of a magnet. And that should really give the garden a good kick start. So once more I'll give you a shot of the results. North Pole and Control are, I, I would say they are pretty similar even though you know really the only difference is the, is the Control has one seed that really just has is having a hell of a time getting going. So that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope this uh, interests you and 
Hope you like it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my projects, whether it's an engine or a tractor or a backhoe or some seeds that I'm growing with magnets. Thanks for watching everybody. Come on back for more.